The purpose of this video is to show you how to create, save, and submit assignments in Canvas for your ITP100 class. Let's begin with how to create each part of the assignment. Many students often jump right into writing their Python code, missing crucial first steps. The first thing to know is that for most projects throughout the course, there are four parts of the project that are needed for submission. Your pseudocode and flowchart, which can be written in a single Microsoft PowerPoint or Word document, your program code in a Python file, and your program code in a text file. In addition to knowing how to create each part of the project, you should also know how to submit each file. You'll begin with the pseudocode and flowchart. They have been created in this Word document with the pseudocode on one side and the flowchart on the other. For more information about how to write pseudocode and create a flowchart, please refer to your course materials or the Academic Center for Excellence's ITP100 resources. Once you have developed your pseudocode and flowchart, you can begin to develop your Python code. In this class, the integrated development environment that you will be using is idle. In order to use idle, you will have to download Python, which will include idle in the package. There are three steps that need to be followed in order to download Python. First, go to Python's website, python.org, Click the Downloads tab, then click the yellow Download Python button. After Python has been downloaded, you can install it. To do this, click your computer's yellow File Explorer icon, open your Downloads folder, and double-click the file that was downloaded. Double-clicking that file will bring up the Install Python window. In this window, click the Add Python to Path checkbox, and then click Install Now. The setup will take some time to complete. When it finishes, close the window by clicking the button that is labeled Close. When the download and installation is complete, you then have to open Idle. To do this, move your cursor to your computer search feature, type IDLE, and select the first option that is given. After opening idle, the window that will appear is called the Python shell. Rather than writing your code in the shell, you're going to click on File, move your cursor down, and then click on New File. The blank page that appears is where you will write your code. When you have finished writing, running, and adding comments to your code, save the file to a location on your computer that is easy to access. To do this, Click on File, Save As, create a file name that ends in .py, and click Save. The last file that needs to be created is a text file. The content for this file can be written in any text editor, such as Notepad for Windows devices or TextEdit for Mac devices. For this file, you can copy and paste the text that was written in the Python file and save it with the .txt file extension. You would save this file in the same way that you saved the Python file, except this time you have to add .txt to the end of the file name. Now that you have gathered all of your files, it is time to submit them in Canvas. To submit your files, navigate to the project's submission page, click the Start Assignment button, then click Upload File, Choose File, and select one of the files that you need to submit. To add your other files to the submission, you will have to click the Add Another File link, which will allow you to choose another file. Before you hit the Submit button, you should make sure that you've added all three of the files that you need to submit. The files should contain your pseudocode, flowchart, your program code in a Python file, and your program code in a text file. The Academic Center for Excellence offers individual on-campus and online tutoring appointments for software design. For further assistance with programming concepts, please call ACE at 540-891-3017 or email aceatgermana.edu.